barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free, hit the subscribe button, join the Patreon. Patreon videos coming this week, but more after the first. I'll get back into my business mode, more family right now. Um, <clears throat> so I go, so I, I wake up this morning and 6.46 this morning as I'm looking at it. People, I got an insider sending me information. I was like, whoa, thank you. I appreciate it. And as you can see by the thumbnail, that's Mikey Garcia weighing 146.6 pounds, looking more ripped than he's ever been ripped before. Now, here's what I need y'all to do. All the people that talked about <laughs> Earl Spitz, all the people who talked about Roy Jones, all the people who talked about Birdo, all the people who talked about Fernando Vargas, all the people who talked about Barry Bonds, all the, you know, these Charlo brothers and Miss Nevada test. I need y'all to question, has Earl Spitz, I mean, excuse me, have uh, Mikey Garcia ever looked like this before? You know, I, I genuinely want to appreciate the person who's sending me these footage. I'm, I'm Hopefully I get them all throughout his camp. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm not denying he's not in good shape, getting in better shape. I've never seen Mikey Garcia look like this. Uh, and this is only week one. Uh, this is proof that Victor Conte supplements do work. <laughs> this is proof that his vitamins will, without a doubt, leave you looking better. And uh, we're going to see when Mikey Garcia come down. We'll see Mikey Garcia for media day, and he's going to be anxious to take his shirt off. He's going to be excited, similar to Fernando Vargas, when the most famous quote, Fernando Vargas, one of one of his most famous quotes while he was a boxer was, Mexicans don't look like this. Or oh, you said real Mexicans or Mexicans don't look like this. I remember when, when, when he was up there juicing. So uh, um, um, I'm anxious to interview Fernando Vargas. You know, I'm anxious to interview all these guys as it relates to Victor Conte, you know, and um, 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 we'll see, man. But I'm um, looking at this picture. If this doesn't draw speculation or uh, or uh, or anything, you're a fool, you're dumb, you're blind. You're being naive. You're jealous of the fact that blacks are the superior race. I, I repeat, you're jealous of the fact that blacks are the superior race. And if you believe the world is round, you have to accept that blacks are the superior race. One, because it's scientifically proven. And two, because I said it. <laughs> so people get bad. People get bad at the truth. Like, it's it's a fact. The cradle of civilization. Africa. You know what I mean? So, uh, we, um, so anyways, man, I, I, I just did that to poke at the bear a little bit as Mikey Garcia is doing with these pictures and he's going to leak some stuff out at, throughout camp and he's going to say certain things just as Victor Conte l was lobbying for Vada to be a part of what's going on so he can control. See, here's the catch with Vada. See, I'm going to give you guys game on top of game, game on top of game on top of game. The reason why he lobbied for Vada is because Victor Conte has an insider in Vada that will give him the information. And he's going to know exactly what's in Earl Spence's blood. So he's going to create a fucking quote unquote attempt to make a superhero out of Mikey Garcia, understanding what's in Earl Spence's bloodstream. And you guys got to understand. I'm going to do a video on that, explaining that further. But uh, you guys got to understand, this is why y'all come to my channel, because I can, because I don't just think about shit on a topical level. I go deep, 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 deep. And you guys are sitting there like, wow, I never thought about that. Yes, Victor Conte and the president or whatever title they have at Vada are some sort of friends. I don't know how on what level, but he has preview to what Earl Spence blood will look like. And he's going to say, well, Earl Spence is deficient in iron. Earl Spence is deficient in calcium, vitamin C, whatever the case may be, because he does it naturally, right? And, uh, uh, and, and I believe this will be the first camp where Earl Spence is getting his food catered. You know, I, I saw his stories, but I remember him saying prior to this, he didn't even have a chef. So uh, kudos to Earl for, uh, for understanding that his body is, is his cash cow. So uh, uh, I respect all that. And I forgot to call Derek James thursday I, I text him and told him i would call him thursday friday and i forgot 
So I'll probably hit him after the holiday. It's the first, you know, let him enjoy his family. Not let him. He deserves, he has a family. Let him enjoy his family. So I'll hit him around the second or third and maybe I can get some interviews. But I'm going to send, I'm going to send Derek James this picture uh, as soon as soon as I get done with this video and uh, we'll move forward from there. But uh, moving forward, I got, these pictures are giving a lot of Mikey Garcia fans confidence. And, um, uh, um, I'm a Mikey Garcia fan. Uh, this isn't giving me confidence. D this is validating to me that Victor Conte is a cheat. And I want to double back on this too. Because I've been doing some thinking and really, really analyzing. Is it the fighter or is it Victor Conte? It's not Victor. Con it's not. The, it's not the fighter. It's Victor Conte. Because keep it real. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. If you... If you had a cheat where you can get an extra $10,000 a month and it's undetectable, would you do it? Make this relatable to your life as you being the athlete. If you had a cheat where you can get all A's on your finals and never get detected, you would. Because I'm an example of that. I've never, I'm not ashamed about how I got through college. You understand what I'm saying? I cheated my way through college. And you can say what you, I don't give a damn what you say. And, and, and I'm comfortable with all that. Pros and cons. I worked my way through college, right? And so I was thinking about that. It's not the athlete. Yes, the athlete has have some level of uh, accountability. I'm not discrediting. I'm not, I'm not holding liability. I mean, I'm not denying them accountability and liability. But what I am saying is this. The head honchos of boxing needs to expel Victor Conte because he was caught. I never was caught cheating. And I can't get caught cheating because how I created my system, my methods of madness, you know. And Victor Conte is a convicted felon cheat. The WBC should not allow him to touch his drug-free athletes, uh, the IBF, WBO, IBO. You know, WBA. He should not be allowed to touch these bodies. That's in these such these athletes that are that are uh, um, that have rankings in these sanctioning bodies, and that's just what I feel about it. You know, I, I, I'm gonna I'm going to digress in terms of attacking the athlete because realistically, the athlete isn't doing nothing wrong. Because if they believe they have they want to create a physical advantage, guess what they're gonna do? Go find that physical advantage and. Uh, I believe Victor Conte will, um, he's, w the FBI will, or the, or the government will come back down on him at some point. I don't know when and where. I, I, I believe that the government don't make no mistakes, you know, and, uh, they're going to infiltrate his camp. They're going to infiltrate snack and, uh, but he should not be allowed to touch these athletes. You understand what I'm saying? So, so at the end of the day, you know, um, Mikey Garcia is literally, legally doing nothing wrong, you know, uh, but does Victor Conte have the cheat code? Yes, for, 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 for two reasons. He is the only person, he is the only person in boxing that will know Earl Spence physical makeup if Earl Spence don't go to the doctor and do his own blood work. And most fighters don't do that. Most fighters just pass the physical just so they can step in the ring. They don't take a physical to know where they're weak at, to where they're deficient at. He's going to get the exact breakdown of what's in Earl Spence's body. I have no doubt in my mind he will. That's why he, he uh, I, I'm going to cut this video in half and so you guys can see it. But I'll do another video on this, maybe. So he can... Uh, he lobbied for Vada. Remember, he lobbied and lobbied hard for Vada. And and like I said, very I smile in people's face because I don't want to be confrontational, right? And the reason why you say, Fred, why you don't go in on it? Because there's a string in boxing, right? My enemy may be someone else's asset who I am a friend of or who I befriended. You understand where I'm coming from? So at the end of the day, you got to be judicious in terms of keeping a level playing field. I mean, there are times when I'm doing interviews, I'm like, I'm sitting there holding the camera like, you lying sack of shit. I'm sitting there, but I'm smiling like, you lying, you lying through your fucking teeth right now. But at the end of the day, I, I just let them tell their lies or let them tell their truth. And you know what I mean? And, and, and I try and level up the question so you guys can see. It, it's like that Abel Sanchez video. Uh, 
uh, fight week for Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Hopefully you guys picked up on my question. I I opened him up. I made him contradict everything he said in, in many of my interviews and many of other people's interviews. If you guys caught it, you guys need to go back and watch that interview. But I set him up with questions to disprove the stuff that he's been saying. But hopefully you guys caught it. Anyways, man, uh, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe subscribe button. Victor Conte got that super contra code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA select start. He got that contra code, man. He got all them extra men. He knows where the secret, the secret level is in Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> he know where to get them 10 million coins to get all them extra men. Barbershop conversations. All my all my 90s babies have no idea what the fuck I just said. Barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.